Hello, welcome. In this video, I am going to talk about basic overview of Oracle Integration Cloud Services application. So as we have earlier discussed that when we are talking about YC, it comes with three different different application. Process Cloud Services, VBCS and Integrations. So in this video, we will completely discuss about integration. So once you click on that integration tab, you will get many options. That options are completely components of that OIC. So we will talk about one by one all the components. So in previous video, I have shown you all the components. I have explained you about the components. So now uh, today we'll go through the, all the components in OIC pages. So if you will see first we have connection. So if you click on that integration, so this is the main integration we are going to create. We are creating an application. So here you can see the all the integration created you can see listed down here right so I will show you how you can create connection how you can create integration and all so let me go through you first basic of that integration connection integration sorry so here you can see that the we have basic integrations if you will see that this read fox data from local file 01 this integration is in draft status so if any integration is in draft state, it means that you cannot run this integration. So once this integration will be in configure status, then only you can run. So now you can see that the second integration, Fox read data from FTP is in configuration status. So is in configuration status, then only you can active this status and you can run this uh, this integration. So for making any uh, integration active, yes, you need to click on here and it will give you option to activate. Yeah, so here you can see that. So while activating any integration, we have option for enable tracing. So once you will enable the tracing, you will get to know about the log of that integration log flow of the integration so while developing it must for enable this tracing so that you can identify the log of that program that integration right and now click on click and active so this integration will be active and it will go on the top you can see that this read fox data is now is a accent process so refresh here and yeah you can see that this is now active so once this integration is active, then only you can go and you can run. So by for running this any integration, just you need to click here and click on submit. Right here, you can see that some integration is already in active status. You can see that this activated status. So you can directly click on here and you can run test by clicking on test. You can run. So here, if you will see, this is the app driven uh, app driven orchestration application. So that's why it's coming here once you try to run it's coming here test and if you will see this is this is the schedule orchestration that's why if you click here to run it so that submit now so these two are basic difference of integration right so these are the basic uh, status of the application and now one more status if you will see let me click here in to this application as a draft here So for making any integration in is in configure status, you have to remove all the you have to remove all the errors in that integration. So right now, if you will see in this integration, we have some error. So for making it as a configure, we have to remove this error. Right. So how we can remove this error? So you can see that right now we created one schedule in uh, orchestration integration, but we didn't put anything. That's why it's showing one error here. So once you will click it here, you can see that integration error and schedule error. Okay. So just click here, drag and drop anything. So here, suppose click here and drag any log messages. Okay. Give the any name, create. So what is this logger? I will explain you later. Like I want to so always put any message. This and now validate. Close. Close. So here you can see that one error is removed. Correct. So it's only remain one error. So once you will try to save, it's saved, right? So we have to for removing this error, this error is related to integration error and yeah, it's always said that once you create any integration, you have to go to trace and you have to enable, enable the trace variable. 
for enable any trace variable you have to come here and you have to select the anything like select any variable so here if you will see so what it for selecting any variable you have to just drag and drop here correct so once you will drag and drop drag and drop it will come here and just click on save so you can see that all the error are removed click on save so all the error are removed now if you will save and close it will be in configure status and now you can active this integration here you can see that this is in configure status and now you can active this status right so let me show you one more status so here suppose you are working in this integration any integration and suddenly you close the you close the window suppose here let me add one com more component one logger like suppose i do not okay okay and here without saving suppose in any say, situation you close the window like close the integration now once you will again click on this uh, open the integration you will get that integration as in logged uh, status you can see that the status of integration is logged it means that you cannot perform the operation until you will resolve this issue so how you will unlock the how you will unlock this integration so here you can see that it's showing here right? so how you can unlock this integration so for unlocking the any integration correct <coughs> So let me regenerate this issue chain again. So because I have open, that's why it's showing here. So suppose I have added anything. Okay. Okay. So now I will again suddenly close this window. And now let me open this integration. So here you can see that in the integration will comes in again locked status so how you will unlock that status so for unlocking any integration you have to click on this four dot line and just go here and you can see that this is the unlock status right now you can see the status of this is locked so for unlock you need to click here just unlock this unlock and discard edit and recover so unlock and discard it means that whatever you have done changes before saving that will be removed and edit in browser it means that the changes you made that will be available so just click on edit and review so now you can see that your integration is open and that will be unlocked and the changes will be there you can see that i have added this log correct so this is all about the status of integration right so how you can run the integration let me show you so for running the integration we have two types of integration right for uh, app driven integration or for schedule integration okay for both integration we can run so let me show you the run so here you can see that this is a schedule integration so let me run so just click here and submit now for submit now it's ad hoc request so just submit now and here you can see that just click here so you will get to know about the trace of that get to know about the uh, status so here you can see it is in queue so it will take some time to run so yeah it's scheduled and completed so the you can see the status is succeeded right it means that integration is completed successfully so here you can see that for checking in the log of that integration just you need to click here this i button here you can see that this is the log refresh and yeah you can see that this is the log message this is started trigger schedule run message we don't have any message it's just taken time a start time and all log we have mess send right we have added a logger so here you can see that logger and the log message we have added that is test so here you can see how you can run the schedule integration so now i will show you how you can run the app driven orchestration integration that's simple very simple so suppose this is my integration this is already active so just click here and click on submit now okay so this is already also schedule integration here 
I will go for this is app driven okay so I will click here and just click on test so here you can see that <coughs> when you are running any app driven orchestration you will get to know about this kinds of screen so here if you will see the here is the option for body so in body you will pass the parameter you will pass the request payload in body you will pass the request payload and response you will get it here so here you, for example this is my integration i am passing this kind of request so just after passing click on here click on test so once this will be completed you will get the result so right now it will comes in uh, completed in error because there are many things not configured for this integration just like agent and all so what is agent i will explain you all the things so it's taking time so it will take little bit time so once completed i will come back so here you can see that it's generated error because it's could not completed on time so it's taken too much time because like uh, there are many issues right there are network issue and all so here you can see that right now i got disconnected from my network that's why it's taken too much time and did not complete so let me first connect with network so now back i'm connected with network so let me run this program again so i'm going to run this integration again and again it will take some time because of that i have not configured the uh, FTP server right now and not configure the file adapters not configure the agent on the system so it will take some time and let me once it will complete it again I will come back and now you can see that integration is completed and it's completed in error generating exceptions because of that they are like we have not configured agent right now in the system so here you can see that the main purpose is in this video that how you can run the integration to show so right now you have learned that how you can run the integration to different different integration that up different and schedule orchestration so thank you so much for being here in next video i will explain you all the different components in oic just like looper connection and all thank you so much